in today's video, we're gonna be visiting 13 skate spots all around Denver as a city and stay within those boundary lines for this video. For each park, I'm going to give one a very quick tour so you can see what all the skate park has to offer. Number two, I'm gonna land at least three unique tricks at each park, though since I'm moving fast, they probably won't be the craziest tricks. Number three, I'm gonna rate each skate park on a scale of one to 10. And if you wanna skate any of these skate parks yourself, just like I do in all my other videos, I've got a full skate map below where I will list every single one of these skate parks plus all the other skate spots I've ever done. You know I had to start off this list with the most famous skate park here in Denver, Denver Skate Park, AKA D Park. D Park as a skate park is definitely an acquired taste as it has a lot of really crazy angles and sometimes if you're there at night, a lot of really crazy people, though most of them hang out under the gazebo. Now the skate park itself is basically made up of three different sections. The first section is what you first roll into, which is the street section. There's one part of that which goes down into the center where people tend to run into each other. And then there's a second part where it's just really crazy angles and props to you if you skate it. The second section is basically potholes and waves that you can skate over near 20th Street on that side of the skate park and that part is pretty fun. Then the last part is the bowl section in the back and it's got a lot of really crazy bowls with a lot of really crazy vertical angles on the transition. All right, we're gonna start this easy with a blunt hand grab to fakie on the quarter pipe just to get warmed up. Woo. One trick down. All right, second trick up, we're gonna try and get a burial up this really weird step up with a really weird run room. I think for the last trick, we're just gonna get a 5-0 on one of the big bowls and move on because we got a lot of skate parks to get to today. So the height of this bowl, it is crazy steep. It's completely flat like a 14 foot vert, but it's like a seven foot. <laughs> All right, that's gonna do it for Denver Skate Park. Moving on. Next skate park on the list is a tiny little skate park, which is La Alma Skate Park. It was really hard to find parking here, so if you ever come here, it's a little bit difficult for some reason. All the parking spots say no parking in the park. I don't understand that. Anyways, La Alma Skate Park, it's tiny. Let me take you through it, and then let's get three unique tricks here. This next park is definitely one of our smaller parks on our list, and it basically only has these quarter pipes on each side that you can kind of use as a mini. And then on the side, you've got a really cool box that's actually pretty waxed up. And then we've also got a really cool little pyramid thing that's really fun to do tricks on. Man, the quarter pipe is so shallow that it's hard to not get too much speed, if that makes sense. <sighs> next trick. Second skate park done, let's move on. <clears throat> All right, so the skate park behind me is apparently not open yet, but it's called Westwood Skate Park, and I'm gonna go ahead and just try to barge it and get three really quick, easy tricks, and we'll be out of here. It honestly looks pretty bad. <laughs> All right, let's get a first trick. All right, one trick down, two to go. Still ice on the landing, but I guess we'll just deal with it. Do you believe in the power of a curse? Okay, I'm over that stupid thing. <sighs> Two tricks down to my foot is in immense pain. <laughs> All right, three tricks down. I'm done with this crappy park. Even when it opens, I'm not coming back. 
Next skate on the list technically does not have a name. It's just within a small little park and it is like this little skate park feature. The park here is called Cuatro Vientos Mini Skate Park is what I call it. But the park itself is called Cuatro Vientos. And this right here, you got a box, you got a bank. And I mean, that's pretty much it. However, the spot does have an amazingly waxed up grind curb I'm gonna include as a part of this skate park. Vientos skate park, mini skate park, just a park, just a skate spot. Done. Next skate park, let's go. Next skate park on the list is Paco Sanchez skate park. Ah, let's get to skating, it's over there. Paco Sanchez skate park is really cool. However, it is extremely linear. So if you're skating it with a bunch of other people, you're gonna run into each other. I'll count it for the sake of this mission. <laughs> done with Paco Sanchez skate park moving on all right we're out here at the next skate park on the list and this is actually a pump track I've never actually been to a real pump track so this is gonna be really interesting but this is called Sloan Lakes pump track and I'm gonna whip out the head camera for this one Next park up is gonna be a little hard to skate because it's all in the shade, so a lot of the snow and the ice hasn't melted yet. But this is Rhino Art Skate Park. I actually did an entire video based on just this area and this skate park, which I will link down in the description below if you wanna go and check that out after this video. But I'm gonna give you a quick tour like all the rest and then get three tricks in the snow and the ice and hope that I don't fall and hurt myself again because my foot is still killing me. Rhino Art Skate Park is one of the most interesting and hard to skate skate parks that has ever been made. As you can see, it's got a lot of really crazy angles and I don't even really need to explain what it has. You can see, cause I'm not even really sure what to call all these features. Next park on the list is Illyria Skate Park, and this is another really small one, but I mean, it counts definitely as a skate park because it's got a lot of different obstacles. And surprisingly, there's not that much snow on them. As small skate parks go, this one is pretty cool. Although the entire skate park slants downwards a little bit, which is a little bit weird. And that's all I have to say about that. I didn't know if that was gonna slide or not, and it definitely slides. This quarter pipe is too good. <laughs> Gotta figure out how to make money on this thing. It's simply too good. Okay, so I definitely underestimated how fast the sun goes down in Colorado. Plus, I'm exhausted, so I am gonna pick this back up tomorrow morning. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. <laughs> All right, so it has been about seven days since I started out this skate park tour around Denver. My foot was a lot more hurt than I thought it was. I actually tried to film this a couple days ago when my foot was already kind of feeling better. And of course, I popped my tire turning a corner about a mile from my house. Oh, man. 
Ugh. Well, that's not good. Anyways, let's get into our first skate park and let me give you a tour around this beautiful skate park, which is called Stapleton, AKA Central Park Skate Park. As small as Stapleton Park is, it has some really great angles and the boxes are actually spaced correctly away from each other, except one box that leads right into the bowl, but you'll see that when I get to my three unique tricks. Personally, this park has two of the coolest box combinations I've run into recently. And the bowl is the least intimidating bowl you'll find in a skate park, which is perfect for beginners or people like me who don't really skate bowls, but enjoy being in them. Now that I've shown you around, let's get three unique tricks here and let's move it on. Two tricks down, one to go. I have no idea how I didn't just break my spine, but my lower back definitely hurts now. Ugh. Still got a lot of parks to get to. So right before leaving this park, I just met some really cool dudes that apparently have like an old school skate crew just like Geezer Skate Co. in Dallas, so. That's dope, let's go to the next part. I am now at the second skate park of the day, which is the High Plains Park Pump Track. <laughs> this pump track is a lot bigger than the pump track that we visited earlier in this video, and you can pick up a ton of speed here if you keep pumping. This one also features a wooden wall ride, which is pretty sick for bikes, although the wood is a little bit too separated for skateboards to ride on. And overall, this pump track is super fun. Oh, I didn't even notice this. So there's the giant pump track, and then there's a tiny pump track if you're just trying to do a little small pump. We'll try to get three unique tricks, and we'll try to spread it out between the small one and the big one. that does it for this skate park we're gonna move on to the next one but if i thought that this pump track was hard wait till i get to the next park because it's also a pump track and we are now at montebello pump track and i am so sick of skating pump tracks that we are going to do this really fast but first let me show you around it so you can see it and then we'll get the three tricks and we'll be out of here back to regular skate parks don't worry, this is going to be the last pump track that we visit in this video, although I count them as skate parks, so I wanted to include them in this video. This pump track is a lot more rough than any of the other two that we previously skated. It's also really overgrown, and it looks like it's not really well kept. This looks like it's a lot better for bikes, but you know what? I'm going to try to skate it anyways. <laughs> stupid skater brain was telling me to do a nightmare flip for the end, which was not that easy on these weird humps, but we got it and we're moving on. Uh, finally feels good to be back at a skate park and not a stupid pump track, although those were pretty fun. Second to last skate park on our list is this park and this is Montebello Skate Park. This is actually where I broke my rib last year, right around this time, right over there. Play the clip.
Hopefully that doesn't happen today. So I'm gonna take you on a tour. You know the whole gist, and then I'm gonna do three unique tricks. Let's do it. Montebello Skate Park is a strange one because some parts of the park are good and other parts are absolutely not. The whole flow of this park is really strange as well, but if you're skating it alone or with just a couple people, it's pretty fun. It's got plenty of boxes and hubbas to keep you busy, but again, I feel like if there was more than eight people here, you would see a lot of collisions. Succeeded in skating Montebello without breaking my rib this time. Heading on to our very last skate park, which is probably one of the worst skate parks that I've ever seen in my life, but it's Green Valley Ranch Skate Park out on the outskirts of Denver over near Aurora, but still in Denver. You know the deal, I'm gonna show you around and get three final tricks before I pass out in the grass because I feel like I'm gonna die. Okay, uh, what can I possibly say about Green Valley Ranch Skate Park that's positive? Uh, I guess it exists, which is maybe positive. This has got to be one of the worst angled skate parks I've ever been to, and whoever designed it is an absolute clown. Hardly anything has angle iron on it to grind except for the most ridiculous places, and there's no run up for the stair sets here. Also, the pyramid thing in the back is essentially a wall ride, and I could go on about all of the other bad things about this park. I think the only positive thing here is that I met some really cool dudes while filming this, but again, the skate park itself is pretty bad. Okay, so this sea ledge was actually gonna be my first spot to do the first trick, but nothing is waxed here. It's actually pretty hard to figure out where to skate because they made an entire skate park that's unskatable. Everything has no run up or the angles are super whack. Let's do this! Great success. All right, I am finally done with the challenge. I've been to every skate park within the bounds of Denver City. If I missed one, please let me know down in the comments. I don't think I did, but if I did, let me know. And if you wanna skate any of these skate parks and you don't know how to get to them, I've got an entire map down below with street spots and all the skate parks that were in this video. So you can go and check them out on that map. Psst, by the way, I've also got a book. If you wanna check it out, it's a sci-fi book. I'll leave the link to that down in the description below as well. And if you're still itching for some Denver skate spots, check out the video right here up to my left of a video that I recorded last year when I went to the Image Stair Set, which is a famous stair set here here in Denver right near downtown and it is insanely big. I'll see you guys next time. My name is Eric J. Coons. I hope you guys are kind to each other and live well, skate better. Peace out. <sighs> I'm gonna go get food and sleep.